Hey everybody, I have a haul to share with you all as well as a share. Uh, I made some cards and all the cards are the same. So I'm just showing you two of the ones that I made. Um, these are made using a lot of different products. and I'm going to show you what I used for this. Um, but these are both Valentine's or they're all going to be Valentine's cards. And the thing about this is... This is a giant strawberry, you guys. If you've watched my channel long enough, you know I'm obsessed with strawberries. So this is a very big strawberry that fits down into this berry carton. And then I have another smaller one here at the side. And I've used uh, paper tray ink products for the card bases and the designer paper. And also for the die cuts. So this is the... Um, first card and uh, this is actually some uh, whisper white cardstock from Stampin' Up because it's not quite um, this paper from Paper Tray Ink the design paper is actually kind of a, a linen um, it's a linen texture and it's not a bright white so I wanted to use something that would match it better and then here is the inside of each of the cards they all look the same and all of the inks are paper tray um, inks. So here is the other designer paper. Now both of these papers come from paper tray. They were in the Nostalgic Notions uh, Make It Market Kit. So I just um, basically made some Valentines up ahead of time. Uh, there's some scene binding here and these little hearts came from Vicky. She sent those to me for Christmas so because they're still on my table, I decided to use them up. So let me share with you what I use to make the cards. Um, because they're so similar, I used all the same things. So this rectangle die set from Spellbinders is called Venice Lace. Um, I used two sets in it. Let me show you. Um, the largest layer which cuts out, and then the inner part, which does that um, hem stitch um, border. And then I used this one for the sentiment. And again, I, I've taped them together so they're centered, but um, they're, they're separate dies. So I use these. And then the berry basket is made using this um, Technique Tuesday die and it does have strawberries on its own but I didn't use the strawberries from the set um, this one's called dye berry basket and it's from 2014 well that's what it says on this but I don't think that's I don't think it was that quite old, quite that old but who knows so there's this and then I used two magnolia dies um, for the strawberries this larger one is actually a tag it's two pieces and I cut that center section off um, because it was kind of in the way and I didn't want it to be a tag. So the large strawberry and the small one are both magnolia dies. Now this one, it's colored because it comes from one of their doohickey kits and it's one of the, you know, summer, I think summer ones that came out. Um, so that's in a, a kit with like a tea theme, I believe. So um, just in case you guys are looking for it, this one is limited edition. And this one um, was made a long time ago. I don't know if you can still get it. So both of them are Magnolia um, dies from this company, Magnolia Sweden. So um, you can see this one's a, um, what do you call it? A 3D strawberry that I also have. Didn't use it, but I have it. Um, the stamps are from Paper Tray Ink. This sentimental stamp is where I got the main um, sentiment from, I believe. You're just simply sweet. That's what's stamped on the front. And um, this was meant to do scratch and sniff type um, cards. And then I used this Happy Valentine's Day on the inside. That's from You Have My Heart. And I also used this stamp set, which is a new one, and it's from the heart. It's a $5 set, and I used the um, solid heart that's from here. 
So those are the stamps and dies I used, as well as the paper I said was from different sources. But those are my Valentines that I started. I do have a haul. This came from Paper Tray. Um, I ordered because there was a die that, of course, Amy had used in one of her squat projects. This one right here. This is, I think it's called Loopsy Daisy or something like that. And I don't have her flowers in front of me, but she had made one size of the flowers out of felt. And you can cut paper out of this, of course. But um, I picked these up because I didn't have that die yet. I got the free with um, 80 um, for dis for orders, and I already have this one, so I'll probably be gifting that. Um, all the stamp sets, other than the one I just showed you, is um, are from Don McVeigh, and I just wanted to have a couple of more stamps that were more on the religious um, bent. I don't really have stamp sets like this, and I wanted to start making some cards from some folks that I know will probably appreciate them. Um, yeah, so these are all going to be from Don McVeigh. This one is called A Cheerful Heart. And you probably have to pause the video to read all of these because I'm not going to read them out to you. Hopefully you can see them well enough. This one is a Christmas one. That, that last one was more an everyday set up, sort of reading card. This one's definitely a Christmas one. And it is called O Holy Night. Again, it's more on the religious side of your Christmas card. Not a happy holidays type of thing, um, even though that's one of the sentiments in here. Um, and then I ordered this one, which is Cup of Cheer. And I did order the die for it, the matching die. So you can see it's a um, teapot or coffee pot sort of thing. But it is a Christmas stamp. And then the last stamp I got is this Star of Wonder from Don McVeigh. And unfortunately, the label is turned the other direction, so you can probably see it backwards, but you can see it's more like images of um, the manger and Bethlehem, the three kings, and then there's some sentiments down in there. Now, I already showed you the dies. The last thing I got was this craft paper. This is the Bitty Big Craft. I don't think I had this yet. So I wanted to have some on hand and also make sure I made the free shipping. So, um, yeah, that is all for my haul. And that's my share for today. And I will talk to you soon. Talk to you later. Bye.